real quiet and still now. Oh shit. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. We're on the board finally! Good morning, heavy hitters and MLS fans. Welcome to the knockout round of heavy hitters. All right, good morning, guys. We made it. Day three, knockout round. That was intense yesterday. Uh, nobody caught a fish below me. I was sitting on that number 10 spot forever, and uh, man, my heart just can't take that too much more. I, I need to be further up in the cut, but we made it. We're on Sharon Harris. This is a beautiful lake. It's actually a power plant lake. You can see the nuclear power plant right over there. But beautiful lake, totally different fishing over here. This is gonna be shallow. A lot of this, uh, you see on the bank here, a lot of this sawgrass, uh, reeds type of stuff. So there's a lot of that going on. These fish are spawning, um, you know, probably a mix of pre-spawn, spawn, and maybe even a little bit of post-spawn now. It's only about 4,500 acres, so it's pretty small. So we've got 18 guys here and our goal today is top eight. If we're in the top eight, uh, we make it to the championship. Big fish today, $50,000. One of these 18 guys, hopefully us, uh, is gonna set the hook and catch 50 grand on the end of his line. So that's pretty cool. That's what heavy hitters is all about, catching some big ones. So they're in here. It's gonna be an eight, eight to 10 pounder at least. But we're gonna pull some rods out and start getting ready. We'll see you guys out there. And going out to that spot, Jim the brand new Justin Lucas. Justin in the back of Basket Mercury. A little bit chillier now. Mm-hmm. Don't you wish you'd have come up with a design on that bait? <laughs> yeah, I'd probably be fishing Lake Monticello right now. Golly. <laughs> it's all the money you'd make. Exactly. I'd be owning Monticello. <laughs> yeah. Right? Chances of me picking up that are slim. I'm trying to organize my stuff based on my what the odds are of me picking it up because I just don't have enough room on this deck for all these rods. Five, four, three, two, one, lines in. Let's go, baby. Stopped a little short of where I wanted to be. I want to be back in there, but I just want to be super quiet coming in there. And this lake is so small that these fish could be spawning almost right on the main body of water. Ooh, I'm cold. Yeah, a little nipply. It's nice to start in this pocket and have it to myself. Have a couple nice bites in here. <clears throat> I think it's just too cold for top water. I don't think they want to come up. Come off.
Dude, I cannot believe I can't get a bite. Dude, I must be throwing like just to the right or left of wherever they are actually sitting. Ish Monroe's now in eighth place, 13 pounds, nine ounces. God almighty, dude. Currently, there's only one angler without a fish on the score track. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Jeez. Dude, this is insane to not have had a fish in the boat yet. the end of the first period. Dude, I don't even know what to do. Let me see it real quick. Oh, that was not good. Jeez. To not even catch one? Not even a little one? I don't even have to retie it. I don't even know what else I would put on. I never even hooked up. I hooked up with one fish that might have been might have been scorable. This one has me scratching my head all of a sudden because I felt like I was going to come here and pitch around the wacky rig on a flipping stick, you know, like I'm doing and put it in all these spots real quiet where they're spawning and I thought I would I thought I would catch them doing that, but man. I don't know what else to do besides really flip and top water and sight fish. I think it's probably more area than anything else. So we probably have about five minutes left or something and then we're gonna get started with period two. The really good news is we're one bite away from 50 gram. And honestly, if we got, if we could catch five or six fish this period, that might be, you know, that might be all right. So need a couple of them to be good ones though crazy i thought i was gonna catch them what'd you say earlier the things that make you go hmm yeah there you go five four three two one lines in beginning of the second period i mean it looks so good this whole thing and i don't get a single bite come on Guy, don't worry about it. Finally got the skunk out of the boat. Saw a couple fish down through there. Don't think so, but we'll try. He's not gonna do it. He's fat, but not fat enough. Pound thirteen ounces. Mm. I'm scared. Dude, there's fish in here, and there's some nice ones. I've seen them swimming. Just can't get them to bite. Gotcha. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Finally, dude. We were on the board, finally! Ah. I should have been flipping this the whole time. Pounds, zero ounces. Okay. Hey, Justin Lucas, with that catch, you're in 16th place. Really? I'm not in last anymore? No. That's refreshing. You need 14 pounds, zero ounces to get inside the cut. Okay. That's the first fish I've gotten hung up and actually got out, I feel like, in a while. Rayburn, they screwed me up. So I felt good to get that one in the boat. 
this format just makes bed fishing so tough. That's a long enough. Two pounds, eight ounces. I can leave this bait in the water and make another cast for a minute. Really? You can make another cast, one per period. <clears throat> I don't even know if this one right here is a scoreable, but there's like a five pounder right there, but I'm pretty sure this one right here is scoreable, but. If I could catch this one and that one, it'd be seven pounds, and that'd be a nice little jump. But if it takes too long to do it, it's not even worth it. I don't know if it is or not. But... Point of the hook has to come from the inside. Okay. I thought so. The way it was laying, it looked kind of odd. Yeah, see, yeah. it's the it's the skin. That's right. what it was. Hold on. Two pounds, one ounce. <laughs> How about that? Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. That's the end of the second period. I feel like flipping would be the way to catch a big one. That or sight fishing, or top water. These sight fish are not easy to catch. <clears throat> I should have been flipping the whole time. But you live and learn. I do love learning. I hate getting my butt kicked, but I appreciate the learning part of it. All right, guys, we just got done, almost done with our second period break. We got one minute left, and I just fished this whole pocket. I caught two fish in it. And there was a big one on a bed back there, but of course it's been a struggle for me to catch them off the bed. So we're gonna fish the rest of this little stretch of reeds right here, make a little move. I really feel like top water and sight fishing and flipping is the best way to get a big one. So I'm not gonna change what we've been doing. I just should have been flipping sooner and got that wacky rig out of my hand, but it's all good. You live and learn. Two, one, lines in, starting in the third period. Throwing it up on that grass so I don't spook her with the cast. Dude, she's so shallow you can see her tail. I see that. <laughs> Got her. She's not that big, but she's... Inside the mouth. She's not that big, but we were leaving this spot anyway. And saw her. Two pounds, 12 ounces. So shallow you could see her tail up there. That was pretty cool. I don't think that one is, but it bit quick. Might be too even, maybe. Doubt it. Two pounds, zero ounces. Wow. <laughs> cool. Be real quiet and still now. If they didn't have bed fish down this bank, we might make a comeback. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Sweet. Justin, you're now in 12th. Really? Yeah, 15 pounds, two ounces. How far out? You are seven pounds, eight ounces. All right. We're gonna move across over here. What time do we end? 3.30? 
Okay. I don't know. Not gonna be. We'll try it. Fish landing violation, two minute penalty. Okay. No aim? Sorry, I'm just trying to answer it. I don't think so, though. One pound, eight ounces. Yep. Non scorable. It's the first one you've had all week. I think so. It was. I'm trying to make a comeback, guys, but I just don't know where to go. We got in a good little pocket and caught some fish, and now. It's got a stupid penalty. Don't touch that rod. Oh, I can't even touch it? Uh -uh. Oh. I don't get penalties. I don't know the rules. My bad. <laughs> Three, two, one. Line's in. All right. Give an hour and a half remaining. Not enough time. This is where you would catch a big one on this. Oh, dude, I thought it was way bigger than that. <laughs> Jeez. I thought that sucker was going to be four pounds. Dude, me too. Hold me. That's your big one on top water. Come on, man. Got him. Barely moved. Oh no. <laughs> Two pounds, seven ounces. All right. Should have maybe started running shade pockets a little sooner. Miracle fish, miracle fish. Come on, miracle fish. How much weight is it gonna take to make it? How many pounds? You have 29 pounds, 13 ounces. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, lines out. That's the end of the round. Well, dang it. That is not the day I was hoping for, Ernie. Man, that first period killed us. All right, guys, what do we have? Seven bass for like 17 pounds or something. Not good enough this go around, but we made another cut. We'll do it again. If I had to change this day over, I would have started flipping from the beginning uh, and not forcing that wacky rig in top water. I learned, man, the past two days, I thought I'd be able to, you know, or I, I tried to throw the top water in the mornings and those cool nights, I can't get them to come up and commit to it or even really eat it at all. So that's a good learning experience this week, but, um, I had some really nice bites on it in practice. I thought, you know, I'd be able to catch some big ones on it, but it's okay. Still fun. Had Ernie as my boat official. He's awesome. Guy gets his life jacket on faster than me. He's impressive. But uh, next event, Lake Murray, South Carolina. It's a MLF Pro Circuit event, five fish limit. So looking forward to that. Don't know how I'm going to catch them. Probably some spawn fish, herring spawn fish, top water, uh, swim baits, all that kind of stuff, but it'll be a good time. We are gonna head home tomorrow morning. Uh, me, Bree, and Coop, we got a long drive. It's like eight and a half hours, so hopefully Coopers will behave himself. Those long drives are tough on a three-year-old, but we are looking forward uh, to a few days at home. We just bought a pontoon, and we're gonna go for a ride on that thing. So we will see you guys at the next event, uh, Lake Murray. South Carolina. See you.